close your eyes and watch your breath. If you're going to talk to yourself, talk to yourself about the breath. How is the breath going? Is it comfortable? Is it not? What would make it more comfortable? And when it gets comfortable, what do you do with that sense of comfort? This is a conversation you have with yourself that's actually useful. It's true, and it's beneficial, and it's timely. The Buddha himself, first with his speech, but also with his thoughts, these are the questions he'd ask himself before he said anything at all. Is it true? Okay, one, is it true? Then the next one, is it beneficial? There's a lot of true things out there that are just idle, idle information. And finally, is this the right time and place? Because some things are true and beneficial, but then it's not at the right time and place, and it's not really helpful at all. When you have these qualities for your speech, then it makes it easier for you to apply them to the speech in your mind. The way you talk to yourself, when you're meditating, you're quite, a thought comes up, a question comes up, is it true? Ask yourself. And then if it's, even if it's true, is it beneficial to think about it? If it's not beneficial, do your best to drop it. And even if it's true or beneficial, is this the right time and place? There's a lot of stuff in, that's actually useful as you go through the monastery and you're staying around here, but when you're sitting and meditating, you have to put it aside. So learn how to ask these questions of yourself, both with your external speech and with your internal speech. And you find that your speech on both levels it gets a lot more useful, a lot more beneficial instead of just wandering off into idle chatter, or providing us an opening for your greed, aversion, and delusion to slip in when you're not really paying careful attention to what you're saying. You want speech that's actually focused and true and really beneficial. You want to be very clear about what you're saying, why you're saying it, and the situation in which you're saying it. When you take care of either speech on the outside level this way, then it's a lot easier for everything to go well in the meditation. That internal speech turns into a directed thought and evaluation around the breath. That becomes a factor of jhana. It's not a distraction. It's part of the mind settling in. It has to talk to itself about how it's settling in. Then when it comes to a good conclusion, then you can drop that. That kind of speech is easy to drop. Unskillful speech, when you try to drop it, it's like something sticking to your fingers. Like having taffy in your fingers, you try to toss it off, but there's some, still some taffy left. In other words, it's hard really to let go. But if it's skillful, okay, it's like tossing off just dust. The mind can be clean, the hand can be clean, because there's nothing to make it sticky. <clears throat> 